When I Fell from the Sky, the true story of one woman's miraculous survival is the harrowing account of Julianne Diller, formerly Julianne Koepke, who at 17 incredibly survived a mid-air disaster. Her story not only encompasses the harrowing ordeal she endured, but also offers unique insights into her life before and after the incident, weaving in themes of survival, resilience, and the powerful bond with nature imbued in her from an early age. The book opens with an overview of Julianne's unique childhood, which was spent in the Peruvian rainforest, Panguana. Her German parents, a zoologist and an ornithologist, ran a research station there, instilling in Julianne a deep love and understanding of the natural world. This background would later prove invaluable to her survival. On December 24, 1971, Julianne and her mother boarded Lanza Flight 508 in Lima, Peru, en route to Pucallpa to visit her father for Christmas. The flight encountered a severe thunderstorm, and amid the turbulence and panic, the plane was struck by lightning. The aircraft disintegrated in midair, and Julianne, still strapped to her seat, plummeted from approximately 10,000 feet into the dense Peruvian rainforest. Miraculously, Julianne survived the fall with only a broken collarbone and some gashes. She found herself alone in the jungle, without food or tools, wearing only a miniskirt and a thin blouse. Amid the wreckage and chaos, she searched for her mother and other passengers, but soon realized the need to focus on her own survival. Her survival skills, learned from her parents, kicked in. Recollecting her father's advice that all water in the rainforest eventually leads to civilization, she located a small stream and began to follow it, hoping it would lead to a river and ultimately help. Throughout the following days, she trekked through the dense underbrush, battling insects and enduring the relentless rain, all while nursing her injuries. Julianne's profound understanding of the jungle fauna and flora helped her to avoid poisonous plants and predatory animals. She rationed the small amount of food she had scrounged from the wreckage, mainly candy, and managed to stay hydrated by finding and following the streams. As she wandered the jungle, she encountered heartbreaking sights, bodies of other passengers, none of whom had survived the crash. She continued to call for help and listen for sounds of rescue teams, but her isolation was complete. Infection set in her wounds, and she dealt with the daily pain and fever, along with psychological torment and the loss of her mother. After ten long days of solitary survival, Julianne stumbled upon a group of lumbermen who were shocked to find the young girl in the wilderness. They tended to her immediate needs, providing food and basic first aid before transporting her to a more populated area where she was airlifted to a hospital. Upon her rescue, Julianne was thrust into the spotlight. The media were fascinated by her story of survival against all odds. However, the experience was bittersweet, as she mourned her mother and the 90 other souls who perished in the crash. In the aftermath, Julianne faced physical recovery from her injuries and the psychological trauma that such an ordeal leaves behind. Despite everything, she showed a remarkable ability to process her grief and trauma drawing on her resilience and her academic interest in biology. The book delves into Julianne's life post-rescue as she grappled with her newfound notoriety and struggled to return to some semblance of normalcy. Her journey of emotional healing is as poignant as her physical fight for survival. She speaks about the nightmares, the survivor's guilt, and the pressure of expectations as everyone sought to understand how she had come through such an event. The narrative also touches upon Julianne's life after the crash, highlighting her decision to continue her parents' legacy by studying biology and ultimately earning a PhD. She pursued a career in conservation, eventually returning to Panguana to take over her parents' work, contributing to important environmental causes, including rainforest preservation. In the book, Julianne also reflects on the way the crash influenced her worldview and philosophies. She shares poignant meditations on life, death, and the indomitable human spirit. Her affinity with nature is a recurring theme, and her intimate knowledge of the rainforest adds layers of depth to her storytelling, emphasizing the importance of conservation and respect for the natural world. While When I Fell from the Sky documents Julianne's incredible story of survival, it is also a tribute to her parents, particularly her mother, who did not survive the crash. Through the memoir, 
Julianne immortalizes her mother's spirit and pays homage to the lives lost that day. The book concludes with Julianne's perspectives on why she survived, including the combination of luck, her physical condition, the way she fell, and her unique knowledge of the rainforest. It's also a reflection on her emotional healing process and how she found a path forward after experiencing profound loss and trauma. Julianne Diller Kupke's memoir serves as an inspirational tale of resilience, the possibilities of survival against all odds, and the human capacity to find meaning and purpose even in the midst of tragedy. Her story is a remarkable testament to the power of the human spirit and the profound connections we can have with the world around us. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.